welcome to Theology Thursday this week. Um, you know, today we're going to talk about the law. The law. And when Jesus walked the earth, yep. um, those who followed the Jewish law, the Torah, had a lot of commandments, right? A yes. lot. We, we think of the law as the Ten Commandments, but there was so much more than that. Yeah. For example, in Leviticus 11, we know that there's a, the, all these dietary laws, things you can eat or couldn't eat as Oof. an Israelite, including like no bacon, mm. no shrimp, Oof. no fried ham, mm. no lobster. I don't have fried ham. Dude. Oh, man. You don't like fried ham? That's fine. No, okay. But they couldn't eat any of these things. And, and it's like, what, what's going on? Why don't, we, why don't we still hold those laws today? Yeah. Yeah, and I think the other question is like, maybe why don't we still follow some of those laws? Mm -hmm. I mean, thankfully we don't, but why don't we, according to Scripture? And the main reason is we live in a new time. We live in a new era. We would call it a new covenant. Yeah. And uh, this covenant is something changed, that changed as Jesus came and as he lived. And he didn't come to diminish what God had done through the law. He came to ultimately fulfill it and to establish something that we would say is newer and better. And yeah. that wasn't just for the Israelites. That was for any follower of Jesus from any nation, any ethnicity. Yeah. And Jesus got a lot of flack for this. There was a lot of pushback when he came in to do these types of things. He, he Even stuff like in Matthew 5 where he says, hey, I didn't come to abolish the law. I've come to fulfill the law. Yeah. And, and even with that, though, there was pushback. Yeah, so it's not like a complete disconnect, but he's still trying to do sure. things. But he came in a way that, you know, like you said, it, it brought something new and better. Um, in the early 1800s, the steam train was first produced. Yeah. And it could move people and stuff anywhere, but it could only do it in a way that was hmm. like if you built tracks, like going to that specific place. Yeah. And so there were, it was incredibly helpful, but there were limitations um, in the invention that limited its, its development and its use for certain specific things. Yeah. But 100 years later, of course, we, what we now drive around, which is personal automobiles were right. invented and mass produced. And they weren't bound by rails. They were, they didn't have these massive steam engines. You don't have a steam engine in your car, right? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't either. Um, and it offered more freedom and utility and um, the ability to just move around quickly. Sure. And, and there still is a place for trains, right? And train sure. tracks, but very specific needs and certain things. But the car has just opened up a whole new world that we would say is better. Yeah, and, and I think if we think about this in relation to, to the law and to the new covenant, Jesus essentially has taken the old tracks of the Old Testament law, and by his truth, he is ultimately, by his mm -hmm. sacrifice, further revealed the will and what the heart of God yeah. is. And he's given us this law of grace. He's yeah. given us this freedom, uh, and he's called us to a higher standard. Yeah. And so we honor the legacy of the Old Testament, knowing how significant it was. But our new law, as mm -hmm. followers of Jesus, is not the train, right? It is this Get new car <laughs> that God has given us. And it's these commandments ultimately that he's given us in a different way through the New Testament where he says things like, love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul mm -hmm. and with all of your mind. For this is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. And all the law and prophets are fulfilled on these two commandments. So ultimately yeah. what we find is old law, train tracks, really great, new law, car, uh, new way of living. And that's that. ultimately what we called for. Let's do that one. We'll live today. <laughs> Yep. Hey, thanks for joining us this season for Theology Thursday. We hope you've been encouraged, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time.